Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. With the arrival of 2023, the global chip market has undergone earth-shaking changes. Under the strict blockade of the United States and other Western countries, China's chip industry has been affected to a certain extent, but it has shown strong vitality and competitiveness. For China's chip industry, this year is undoubtedly a year full of challenges and opportunities. The growth rate and market share of Chinese chips are gradually expanding. At the same time, U.S. chip sanctions are also having a counterproductive effect, stimulating technological breakthroughs and growth in the Chinese chip industry. In this process, Qualcomm, as a world-renowned chip manufacturer, has also seen some changes in the Chinese market, triggering heated discussions in the market and industry. Big Data Analysis of China's Chip Market In 2023, China's chip industry data is shocking. Data show that China's chip production reached 351.4 billion units, a year-on-year -year increase of 6.9%, accounting for nearly 30% of the world's share. In comparison, the overall sales of the global chip industry fell by 8.2%. China's chip imports and exports both declined year-on-year, year, with imports decreasing by 10.8% and exports falling slightly by 1.8%. There is important information behind these data. On the one hand, the global chip industry is facing the challenges of economic recession and inflation, while China's chip industry still maintains strong growth, showing a sharp contrast. On the other hand, China's chip self-sufficiency rate continues to increase, reaching about 23% in 2023, and is expected to further increase to about 27% in the next few years. Chip sanctions have instead given rise to breakthroughs and development in China's chip technology, indicating that Chinese chips will occupy a more important position in the global market. In terms of production capacity scale, the industry predicts that China's chip production capacity will account for 39% of the world's total in 2023, of which about 8% are advanced process chips, while mature process chips account for about 31%. This shows that China's chip industry is rapidly developing towards high-end processes and gradually moving towards the center of the global stage. It is worth noting that as China's chip market share continues to increase, the global chip industry will usher in a price war, and chips may enter an era of cabbage prices. U.S. chip sanctions are contradictory. The chip sanctions imposed by the United States and other Western countries on China have been counterproductive to a certain extent, triggering questions and discussions inside and outside the industry. In 2023, Qualcomm, as a world-renowned chip company, frequently increased the price of chips exported to China 
causing the prices of mobile phones of some mobile phone manufacturers to continue to rise and profits being squeezed by chip costs. By checking Qualcomm's financial data, we can find that in fiscal year 2023, its revenue and net profit showed a downward trend. However, in the first fiscal quarter of fiscal year 2024, the financial data reversed, with revenue increasing slightly and net profit increasing slightly. The sharp increase in profits has triggered market speculation about the possibility of price increases. This price increase against the market has triggered a series of speculations in the industry. Some people believe that Qualcomm may be taking advantage of the relative stability of the Chinese market to conduct a wave of price adjustments and harvests to survive the downturn in the global chip market. However, such behavior has been questioned and criticized around the world as short-sighted and selfish. As China's chip market share gradually increases, in the next few years, China's chip industry will further expand its market share and even move towards a dominant position. Therefore, the chip sanctions imposed by the United States and other Western countries may not only fail, but may also lead to self-destructive consequences. It can be seen from the development trend of China's chip market and Qualcomm's reaction in the market that chip sanctions are not an effective means to solve the problem, but may be counterproductive. With the rapid rise of China's chip industry and continuous technological breakthroughs, China is expected to occupy a more important position in the global chip market in the next few years. The short-sighted behavior and price increases of well-known companies such as Qualcomm will only weaken their competitiveness in the global market and eventually lead to self-destruction. Therefore, chip sanctions should be treated with caution, and China's chip industry also needs to continue to make progress in technological innovation and market competition in order to achieve more brilliant development on the global stage.